Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Ali Iftikhar. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, first of all, I would like to apologize for not making videos uh, that keep you updated. But uh, I'm trying and I might uh, start making videos again. But so much is going on always when you move abroad with your family. So many responsibilities and so many things are going on but we can talk about it in a different video this video is about how much does it cost you to get pr in canada in 2024 okay so recently i mean um, they increased the pr fee etc but i will talk about the complete cost of uh, canadian pr process okay so let's uh, start uh, with, with the process that you have to do before receiving an ITA. So before receiving an ITA and after receiving an ITA, two different parts. So let's say before receiving an ITA, uh, what you have to do is you have to do your IELTS test. In my case, I had to go through three IELTS tests. First one, um, I got uh, CLB 10 in three modules and CLB 9 in the first module in one module. Then uh, I, I had to try again to get CLB four in all uh, CLB ten in all four modules, uh, but I failed again. Then I tried third time um, again CLB ten in all four modules. I failed again. Okay, so I used my first IELTS result uh, in my PR. Uh, so I didn't have to use the other result, but I paid for the other results. Right then. Um, there's a thing called EOR, an inquiry on result. So if you don't like your result uh, of IELTS, then you can actually ask for an inquiry EOR. So I went for two uh, EORs or three, two, two EORs, right? Um, one was successful, one was not. So in total, I would say EOR is half the fee of IELTS. So I paid in total four IELTS fees. Then my wife, she had to go through IELTS, so she did once and then twice. So two IELTS tests for my wife because she needed CLB 9 in all four modules. Uh, the secondary applicant, they don't need CLB 10 in all four modules, right? And by the way, what is CLB 9? 8777. What is CLB 10? It's 8.5 and uh, 8 in all other bands. Uh, so 8.5, 8, then 7.5, 7.5, okay? So uh, that's that's the CLB, Canadian Language Benchmark of IELTS. I made many videos on IELTS, so I wouldn't go into details. So that's the first um, uh, expense that you have to do. So in my case, I had to pay for uh, six and a half IELTS tests. In that time, it was 35,000 Pakistani rupees. So it was somewhere around 200,000 uh, 200, rupees uh, for IELTS tests alone. Okay, then secondly, uh, so depending on you if you can get your desired score if it is clb 9 or if it is clb 10 in one go then it is good and if you are a single applicant then you don't have to pay for the secondary applicant right so depending on everybody i'm just uh, presenting a total overview and my my scenario okay then secondly you have to pay for your educational credential assessment eca i went for the uh, more expensive option because there is one or two options of VES and ICAS, and then there's a third option of ICAS with a C, where you have to pay a singular fee for your degrees. Um, then I didn't go for VES, I didn't go for ICAS, because for my MBA, they were not gonna give me master's equivalency. So you need master's equivalency to get PR in Canada. So for my ECA, I had to pay for both my degrees, my BCom and my MBA. So twice the fee of ECA uh, that I had to pay for my educational credential assessment, right? So that was from uh, University of Toronto, uh, CES, Comparative Education Service, CES UOT, right? And uh, now UOT is just around the corner. And I was thinking they give you $200 discount on whatever program you, uh, you go into after you land in Canada. So I was thinking about uh, getting that $200 discount, but uh, I couldn't find time to study more. So um, I had to pay $520 for the ECA plus the shipment charges. I don't remember exactly, but they were probably uh, 3000 Pakistani rupees. 
then i had to pay for my wife's educational credential assessment as well so she had one degree so i had to pay for a, a singular fee um, i had to pay a singular fee for ses so in total i paid for three ves fee in uh, if you compare it with ves um, i paid three ves fee okay so this was eca and ielts now we're talking about before ita before, uh, once you are getting into canadian immigration things then you have to arrange all your documents like uh, in my case i had to get some translations i had to get some uh, i had to renew the passports i had to get my kids um, get their passports made uh, so all those fees then uh, my wife had a um, um, a lost degree so we had to apply for a duplicate degree so all of these costs uh, they they come uh, with the baggage if if you are applying for the canadian immigration right uh, i had to get a computerized uh, marriage certificate and stuff like that right so then um, in my case i received pnp invitation not the ita from express entry i got pnp nomination which is called notification notification of interest now depending on which pnp Uh, my pnp was ontario ontario immigrant nominee program so i had to pay 1500 dollars for oinp right um so that 1500 dollars is extra if you are applying through express entry um through the federal skilled worker program without the help of pnp then you don't need to pay these 1500 dollars i had to pay these 1500 dollars then similarly for saskatchewan there is a fee uh, for manitoba there is a fee for alberta there is a fee there are, there is always going to be a pnp fee if you're applying through pnp program right uh, so that pnp fee is also before ita right because you get ita after you get uh, pnp nomination 600 points are added to your crs and then uh, you get an ita right then there could be a fourth fee as well uh, like ielts eca uh, pnp and then there could be a fourth fee of uh, an immigration consultant or an immigration lawyer so if you go for a lawyer or if you go for a for a consultant then you have to pay for that as well which which could range from $2000 to $5000 $6000 uh, it varies so i didn't pay for that right i didn't pay for that i learned the process and that's why i made this youtube channel so that i could share it with you guys as well so after all these expenses these four types of expenses you get your ita from express entry if all things fall into place right and after receiving the ita then uh, you have to uh, submit your documents okay and uh, to get those documents i mean i've already talked about translations uh, you, if you haven't done those translations you have to do it now uh, then you have to pay uh, pr fee uh, pr fee is uh, so they increased the pr fee this year from uh, now uh, from april Uh, they are going to charge you more fee so in my time um or rather before april 2024 the pr fee was 850 per uh, per principal applicant and per secondary applicant now it's uh, uh, a 950 so if you are um, a married guy um, uh, a married person then uh, 200 dollars are increased in your pr fee so you have to pay 950 for yourself 950 for your spouse okay then there is an rprf right of permanent resident fee which was also in uh, increase it was 515 at my time now it's 575 so 60 dollar increment over there multiplied by two like if you are two applicants 120 dollars so in total 320 dollars have increased right so it would be somewhere around 1300 dollars 1335 for uh, for one person then for secondary applicant 1335 then if you have kids i had two so you have to pay for the kids as well but you don't have to pay rprf for the kids it's just the pr fee okay so that's uh, probably 230 or 260 dollars right so you pay that as well i paid per child so 260 multiplied by 2 so in total i paid somewhere around 3200 dollars just for the pr fee plus 1500 dollars for the uh, oinp fee maybe 4700 dollars in total for the uh, immigration fees then you have to pay for the medical expense like the medical test that medical test could be i don't exactly remember but it was probably 90000 rupees for me I, i i mean i made the video on medical expense 
that would remain same because that is in dollar amount and uh, depending on whatever the currency rate is right now you'll convert that so medical expense it's uh, 150000 almost pakistani rupees then you have uh, biometric fee you have to pay for the biometric fee then if you are applying for a police uh, clearance certificate obviously you have to apply for the police clearance certificate right so police clearance certificate that that is uh, depending on your country of residence you have to pay for pcc as well so i had to get a pcc from uk uh, as well my wife also had to get a US, um, pcc from the uk because we both lived in the uk uh, in the recent 10 years so you have to uh, provide PCC for the recent 10 years. I have detailed videos on uh, PCC. So these are a few fees that you have to pay that are immigration uh, related, right? And um, uh, I didn't talk about pro proof of fund, POF. Now POF is not a fee that you have to pay. It's the amount that you have to keep in your bank account, right? So in your bank account, you have to keep that amount for six months. So I did that uh, after I had done IELTS, after I had done, I ha after I had applied for ECA, I kept that POF amount in my account. I maintained that amount and I had to maintain that amount for like two years. Imagine uh, keeping that amount in a savings account. Uh, somebody was telling me that uh, saving account gives you, gives you 8% or I don't know 14% some something like that so let's say if they give you 10% so POF of 5 million Pakistani rupees would be 100,000 rupees right so I wasted that 100,000 rupees mm, but it was not wasted obviously I had to keep proof of fund uh, readily available with a proper history so that I don't have to provide gift deed because as you know, there is a possibility with many PNP programs and obviously with Federal Skilled Worker Canadian Experience. No, Canadian Experience class does not need PR. So for the Fed, FST, FSW, you, you can provide a gift deed. What is a gift deed? Uh, you basically get your money from uh, somebody and you get a gift deed that it's a gift to you. So Canadian government has no problem with that because now it's your money. It's a gift, right? So POF is not a fee, but it is a major expense. It is a major, 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 major expense at your end. So this is how much it costs for you to get PR in Canada. Then you have to pay for the tickets. Obviously the tickets could be, uh, right now the tickets are $2,300 or $2,500 like that. I recently got two tickets for my parents. Uh, they come in on a visit visa. So that is, um, 10 year multiple entry visit visa. So I had to pay 920,000 rupees uh, for the for their tickets, two tickets, right? Then you have to pay for the medical insurance as well. But that's, that's not, I mean, you don't have to pay medical insurance if you are traveling as a PR, right? So this is how much it costs you to land in Canada as a PR. If you go through the study route, then add um, the study fee because obviously you have to uh, study in Canada uh, to get PR at a later stage so add that expense to this what I told you right so uh, it's not um, uh, a cheap um, immigration process but it is a valid immigration process unlike many other countries where you don't know your chances but here uh, obviously you know your chances right and uh, if your applications are refused, then some of these uh, fees are refundable. Some of these are not. Uh, and that will be the expense that you'll have to bear. Uh, I also applied for GC key notes. Mm. So those uh, GC notes, uh, they come at a cost as well. And um, I, I, I mean, unfortunately, they didn't come in time for me and i had to wait for my pr to get those uh, gc key notes right so what, what are these notes are like after you have applied and you're waiting for your um, decision uh, you basically get a know-how of where your application actually stands but back then the application uh, timeline was very um, uh, hazy but right now it's pretty clear you get a 
uh, you get a uh, timeline you get a it's like a clock um, you know where your application stands and uh, you know how long it's going to take for you to get the decision on your application right so with these words this is alif the khar and i'm hoping great things are coming your way